remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? It took a jury of 12 less than 24 hours of deliberation to determine that Dallas police officer Amber Geiger was guilty of taking a black man's life and deserves to squander hers in prison. Prior to the verdict, the family of Botham John filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Amber Geiger and the city of Dallas. The filing accuses Geiger of using excessive force when she gunned down John in his own apartment on September 6, 2018, and accuses the Dallas Police Department of failing to adequately train Geiger and other officers on how and when to properly utilize deadly force. On Monday, U.S. District Judge Barbara Lynn ruled that the city of Dallas isn't liable for the actions of its off-duty police officers. In turn, the city was dismissed from the civil lawsuit and Geiger will remain the sole defendant. In her brief ruling, Lynn wrote that she was upholding a magistrate judge's decision and dismissing the city because the suit failed to state a claim upon which relief can be granted. Admittedly so, this is a complicated case because Amber Geiger shot Botham John while she was off duty. But in the end, the city asserted that the lawsuit failed to provide evidence that superior training would have prevented Botham John's death, and the judge agreed. Question. Wouldn't the lack of following proper procedure be reflective of how she might comport herself while on active duty? See, they fired her because they knew the suit was coming. They fired her right away. They knew. And what they were trying to do is distance themselves from her. It's all a hustle. And the judge pretty much had to dismiss the city from the lawsuit because Dallas police do a lot of killing. They got a whole lot of questionable cases out there. They do a lot of killing of unarmed people, especially black people. They do a lot of killing. I mean, they kill, they are killing machines. Every day, Dallas Fort Worth is killing somebody. So the judge is part of the system. They all working together. So she's trying to take care of people, protect the check. If being off duty means that the city isn't liable, if you go out there and wrongfully kill somebody, why not make them turn in their badges and guns once they clock out? Don't that make sense to y'all? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I just don't see how you can separate the police person from the police department when they're always expected to be police officers. You know how they do. Off-duty police officer pulled out his gun, shot such, such, such. No big deal. An off-duty police officer is damn near like a police officer on duty. They basically operate in this, within the same capacity. The only thing that they really get in trouble for is when they go out and try to, uh, when they when they get out of jurisdiction. As long as they're within jurisdiction, man, you see them all the time pulling out their guns, telling people to get off the lawn, get off my lawn. Hey, hey, get out of the car, holding people down at gunpoint, all that kind of stuff. You know, so there really isn't a separation. So the city should definitely be liable. 
I call BS. But like a famous scholar once said, a system cannot fail those it was never meant to protect. But y'all keep on forgiving and hugging. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.